this looks and uh, today we're back for another episode of uh, grinding to top 200 in uh, db edison ladder um so let's check uh, because i haven't been playing for uh, for at least a week maybe one week and a half so yeah the the ranking must have uh, evolved a lot since uh, i last played uh i was away for uh, a big big weekend uh in london actually and uh, let's see uh let me see tuck, tuck, tuck. so here we are um, so i'm 436 so yeah okay i'm around 400 and uh, yeah so 436 with a writing of just 405 and uh, let's see the the top ranking so in edison the very last guy is uh, 520 uh the time i make this video so we have to aim for like 5 140 at least uh as so i think i saw my friend yeah c2 is in the in the top ranking as well so yeah uh now we have the what we are what we are aiming for so uh it would take a few few episodes to get there if i only do uh, four games in a row um so yeah i make another part and i'll be switching decks uh back and forth just to, to have more fun um also, I will be uh, add a, requ a request for my uh, for my flamvel deck. So let me check the flamvel zombie deck. Yeah, I have a bunch of lists. So yeah, uh, the list I'm running currently is this one. So just to introduce uh, the deck, uh, people can uh, skip to the. To the matches uh, straight to the matches if they don't want uh, to worry about this deck but uh, that's what i will be playing for the next four games so uh, this is the flamber zombie deck that i'm using just set it at default and uh, yeah so the idea is that the the zombie package is is a pretty strong uh, package especially for the grind game so that's that's part of the game is covered and i wanted something a bit more explosive and uh, and abuse of uh, you go, you know good top decks card in uh, grind games so I think rekindling is the perfect one so I wanted to implement the the rekindling the flamvel uh, package uh, in the zombie deck and the theory behind it is that the first the flamvel fire dog is uh, pretty good against both Amster uh, Amster and Vayu because it gives it gives you a synchro straight up a synchro eight and starts just out the Raiko uh, so it's it's often pretty good, uh, except if you eat the Rico. But I mean, if they just pop the Flamber Fire Dog, you just put it in the grave, and uh, Rekindling will be will make it useful later on in the game. And I play uh, Triple Flamber Magician because the I mean the Synchro Eight are just better, uh, are just a good good synchros. And uh, when you have like a Flamber Magician, a Book of Life with a Goblin Zombie, you just start to plus like crazy. Like you go for a Synchro Eight, Goblin Zombie will get you the Zombie Master. Zombie Master later on will get you. Uh, another player, you can get the plague, and uh, you keep on uh, applying uh, pressure. And uh, recently, I just added back uh, two Phoenix Wing Wind Blast because uh, it, it helps me uh, putting some uh, Flamvel uh, card in the grave for rekindling if I have it in hand. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So there's not uh, much to it. Also, you you can notice in the main deck, I'm not choosing uh, Trap Death Shoot. It's just because I don't own the card, and uh, I I hate the card, and I <laughs> hide playing against it, so I just don't use it. For now, so maybe when I, I get more serious and do more tournaments, uh, I think I will include it in my decks. But uh, there's no need for the moment. Uh, just uh, just DB ladder and a uh, local scene, so <laughs> I don't really need uh, that card to win uh, my games. And uh, for the side deck, so I just do uh, like the DD Crow, and uh, it's, it's pretty good card. Vanity's fan, you just uh, just swap it for Caius with Caius uh, when I go for uh, into the Monarch matchup. A few blowout uh, spell cards, and uh, yeah, the the skill drain is uh, is pretty good because uh, with this deck you, you try to just establish a starless, a few traps, and a skill drain, and then you you're just good to go. Um, because there's a lot of traps uh, to help you control the deck, the the, the game, and also I play uh, main deck, uh, uh, side deck two trap stun. I was using the royal decree, but uh, my friend uh, AC to actually uh, just convinced me on the trap stun card because. Uh, it stops the trap of your opponent, but you can still resolve yours. So again, you just go like trap stand, set up a board with some uh, synchros, set some traps, and uh, then good luck to, to break the board. And uh, you see the one return is just because uh, once people see I'm on zombie or flamvel or both, uh, they try to they go hard for the grave. 
the gravy hate, for example, with the so release, the DD cross, that also the bottomless and stuff. And I, I just uh, take one reckoning out and I put uh, one uh, return uh, in to play around it. So that's pretty much uh, it for the list. It's full synchro, there's no Kimara text. Uh, you can afford to play a lot of synchro A, so you got the, the classic package. So you got one Sardis, one Dark End, uh, one Fort Ruler, one Colossal Fighter, yeah, and uh, one uh, Red Dragon Arcfin. Uh, I think you can uh, you can easily put a, a, a six uh, synchro eight. Uh, I've gone for Stardust, but uh, maybe Fortress is better. Uh, sometimes Dark End is better, so I don't I don't really know. That, uh, you can we can debate on uh, which one is the best. Uh, I don't I don't really know if there's a, a I mean a, a answer an official answer for this. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Also, yeah, playing the Doom Case or Dragon because uh, if you play again against, uh, against zombies, you're just gonna <laughs> you're just gonna yeah blow out the, the mirror match. So it, that's why I'm playing it. I think I have a good maybe I have a good replay with, uh, with that card uh, coming into play. But uh, yeah, I have to check that. So that's it for the the Flamvel Zombie, and uh, I'll just go for the for the for a few games and see uh, where I land uh, after uh, four games. So catch you in the in the replays, guys. Bye bye. So I just made the, my four games like I promised, like actually f uh, five, but the, this one uh, your opponent just uh, left, uh, so it wasn't a real match. Uh, so I went two and two, so not that great. And uh, I have to say I lost <laughs> the, the two matches against the the good players, and uh, and I won only against the bad players. So that was not a very a very good session, anyways. So I'm a 432 rating, so now I'm a uh, rank uh, 365. So I mean, we're getting closer. So uh, yeah, next episode we we're gonna try to reach uh, top 300, I guess. I don't really know when uh, we have time to to play more, and I think I'll be going for uh, for an easier deck this time. And uh, yeah, I will let the the flamme zombie. Uh, I will leave the flamme zombie for this for this time and just uh, focus on something else. Uh, yeah, I like the the plant uh, the plant trouble deck, the plant burn trouble deck. But I have, I don't know. Maybe I'll play more now. Maybe I, I don't really know yet. Uh, there's a bunch of things to explore in Edison, so I'll see. I'll see. Uh, I keep you posted. So uh, just uh, keeping up to the to the matches. So the first one was against uh, NCK, and if I believe he, yeah, he, he told me comment on the on the channel, and he was playing Diva Hero, and uh, yeah. So I won the dice roll, but the end wasn't great, and his end was even worse because he, he opened the malicious. Um, but yeah, he had the diffi the uh, yeah the diffuser for. Uh, the prison for, uh, for the flame and fire dog, and then it's just uh, back and forth because uh, yeah, yeah, he still had the future fusion and uh, yeah, the this guy is really <laughs> he has stopped the, the game man. So his enemy was very was not that great, but uh, he still uh, still won it anyways because yeah, I keep on top decking useless cards and here. My mistake was that I set the rekindling because I didn't want to discard anything, but it turned off the gods, and uh, then I will never trigger the gods. So it was a misplay on my part. But I, I thought that discarding one was just screaming that I had gods in hand. So I don't know. But uh, yeah, uh, just uh, keeping it flow. So yeah, uh, first to use the deep prison against the Spiny Gilman. Of course, he had the Caius when I had the recruiter. Then he has the. Spirit Reaper, which doesn't really matter because the hand sucks anyways, and uh, yeah, <laughs> just had uh, the answers for everything, and uh, yeah, as I told you guys, the girls uh, will never trigger, so yeah. We're going to game number two, um, hopefully this time uh, I can uh, do something, and uh, yeah, I opened up a few traps, <laughs> a lot of traps, I'd say, and uh, yeah, he put in uh, Future Fusion Access again, so I go for uh, the Flame and Fire Dog, he has the Deep Reason again, yeah, Deep Reason again for the uh, Flame of Fire Dog. So the Flame of Fire Dog has <laughs> messed twice already. So he got the Future Fusion. And now it's looking pretty bad. Uh, he tried to set up uh, yeah, a nice uh, play. So he goes for the Dark End, which sucks because he clears the Pyramid Orval. So I use the Phoenix Wing Wind Blast, use the Slime Judgment, and here I have a shot because he, he paid off his life points. But uh, I need to top deck something good. So yeah. I go for the Pyramid Total Crash, uh, go get the Goblin Zombie, clear the Diva, and uh, yeah. I hope he doesn't have the Caius in hand. He doesn't. 
So I banish this dark monster because I'm playing harder around dark arm dragon because he doesn't have anything. Uh, yeah, he also has a double miracle fusion in hand by the way. Uh, yeah, so he goes for the from the Stratus play, which is fine. Go for Mirror Force, and see. Even though he has the card advantage, I'm uh, slowly setting up my next play. So he goes for the second half zero. So I set the Mizuki that he knows about, and now I'm just fearing the the Caius, but. Thankfully, it doesn't have it, so I clear the second up zero. Here's my own Caius. Um, and uh, yeah, try to. Yeah, I push, push some more, and then here it goes. So it goes Prodigy, great Dark Griffer, and uh, yeah, he just set up three darks in the grave for Dark Arm Dragon that he had in hand since the very beginning. And uh, yeah, here he made the miss, I think, a mistake because he, he attacks with starters. Uh, he clears the token and then he clears with uh, the arm so he doesn't choose the miracle fusion in here. I just to me th the set is just a bluff so I just ignore it and uh, yeah I go for Bryanak, clear everything and uh, yeah I go for game. So yeah we go for uh, a game number two that, like you said he could have used the rap zero but uh, yeah still he needs to double something to win this game to win this game. Um, so this time he starts and he has a pretty good opening so First he trap the shoot me, as so you see it has a sudden shootment, he just update the miracle fusion, uh, attack with Mizuki and then uh, yeah he just uh, goes go army. So he sniped the bottomless. I use the the sudden judgment because I, I'm behind on the strato, so he sets his own sudden judgment, so I attack directly, it works. I try to go for vanity fan, he has his own sudden judgment, so I set my bottomless and then he top the future fusion and I'm done because I go Bottomless and Kaiku, then he go with the Future Fusion, set up up zero. He has the Miracle Fusion in hand, obviously. And uh, yeah, now I'm just done. So, top decks of Real Trap 2. And uh, yeah, I had the, the Torrential Tributes, but he had the Mirror Force uh, also. So, yeah, I mean, he has two traps and he just beat me up with uh, <laughs> fucking malicious. So, yeah, I could have just summoned. Uh, yeah, I could have just summoned the Fumble Magician, but uh, it was not. Uh, <laughs> I was not going. Uh, anywhere anyway so yeah uh nicely played by ntk so i lost this one 2-1 so going to get in number two and uh yeah this one is gonna go fast too uh it's uh playing against uh monarchs and uh yeah game one just obliterate me game two obli obliterate him and then game three obliterate me so yeah so look at the hand so he has the tribune access so that's all he needs uh, I try to make something happen with the Spirit Reaper. Of course, he has the Battle Fader. So then I get Skyus first time. So then he banish the Goblin Zombie and attack over the Spirit Reaper. And also, this trap sucks against the Drake. So then I go for my own Caius, which is fine. But this time he has uh, a second mana. So this time he has Reza. He stack up a Caius. So I don't take like anything. And this time is useless. Then he has this. He's on second carries and uh, yeah, that's just game. So going to a game number two, this one pretty quick. Um, and here it will be the opposite. So this time, again, he attack into Goblin Zombie, so everything uh, and atop the Spirit Reaper. So exactly like the game number one, that's why I say Deja Vu. And uh, yeah, I use the Spirit Reaper effect. Uh, I hit the Razor, so I felt like maybe he doesn't have a second one at hand. Of course, uh, he had one, but uh, yeah, I have the DG for the, uh, the Tribune. He has the Caius, obviously, so we did expect that one. So we're already so, so two Monarchs. Uh, and here, so I bait out the DG the DG Crow with Book of Life, and then I just go for a, a Synchro 8 play. And also, you saw he played the Raiko, and uh, it wasn't expected, so going to game number three, this time he starts, and uh, my hand is not very good, so yeah. I just don't uh, attack into the hamster. I feed the hamster against the Raiko. And then he has so much more advantage now. So I clear the hamster. Then he can clear the set. He has the Vanity Shen. And uh, yeah, I'm just uh, Vanity Shen locked. So yeah. <laughs> uh, so I will try to bait out with the Dimension Prison. But he has the Evie Storm, obviously. Then he has the. The pot of avarice, which doesn't really matter. Then you can just attack. I, did, I don't top deck anything, and uh, yeah, that's uh, that's just a loss like this. So yeah, pretty awful. But that's that's like it. Uh, sometimes against monarchs, you feel uh, pretty hopeless when they have the the big monarch uh, coming uh, one after the other. So going to a game number three this time. 
Um, yeah, and uh, what was he playing? Uh, I don't think. So, yeah, you see only five cards in the extra deck, so yeah, you can expect a, a weird deck. Oh yeah, he was playing uh, Counter Fairy. Um, so yeah, I saw a lot of traps. Doesn't matter, so I tried to bite them out slowly. So we saw double uh, dimensional prison, then I go for the Flame of Fire Dog. Notice all, <laughs> all Flame of Fire Dog uh, miss every single game. So yeah, I just make a big misplay. So yeah, uh, some uh, thing happens with the country traps, but it doesn't really matter because I've got in end and Caius. And also he, he made a misplay because he goes normal summon uh, Meltiel in his end. He thought he could uh, tribute summon uh, for hardcore creature, but uh, he already normal summon. So yeah, so for the first time, Flying Will Fire Dog will trigger and uh, it works. So pretty happy with the plus one. And yeah, I was just being around honest with the colors of fighter, so we're going to game number two because he didn't add anything. And uh, yeah, how does it go? Yeah, yeah. Again, I have the heavy storm. Yeah, he used the heavy drop. It doesn't matter. I can go for Flander fire log, clear the monster, and uh, yeah, just a defeat. So yeah, this one was pretty uninteresting. And the last one, uh, yeah. Sorry, I don't really remember the games. What was the guy playing? Oh yeah, Glad Beast, the, the deck I hate the most. So yeah, I was not expecting the O promise, so I play into it, that's my bad. Um he's also playing the Icarus attack. Um for the Equisty. And here yeah, so he goes for Icarus attack and uh, yeah, I just use the Phoenix Wing Wind Blast so I can uh, bounce the Glad Beast. And uh, yeah, I make a Starless Dragon. He used the bottom list, so I just negate it with Starless and I get the Goblin Zombie. Effect. Uh, then I set up. I was thinking. Uh, I was fearing the the deep prison uh, dimensional prison. Uh, yeah. So I went for the fault ruler instead. So I use the bottomless. I can use starless again. And I don't know why he keeps using the bottomless on starless. But yeah, he was not a, a very experienced player. So yeah, he, you know, glad this once uh, you have established a stronger board, a stronger board on them, they can do anything. So yeah, I'm just uh, rushing him down uh, as quick as possible because I don't want him to, to make a comeback. And uh, yeah, we're going to a game number two. And uh, this time, uh, yeah, this time again he's starting. And uh, yeah, <laughs> so yeah, yeah, I don't know. He should have set the trap there, should anyway. But uh, yeah, yeah, the dimension of fissure. Then he has the smashing ground, obviously. So I'm forced to use the diffusion. I go for the MST. It works. I go for Mizuki, it works. And then he has to tap deck monster, but yeah, yeah, of course he had deep reason for the monster. And now it's just a battle of who top decks the bigger monster the the faster. And uh yeah. Uh yeah, just me one, but he top decks uh, something bigger than the goblin zombie. But there was just a little misunderstanding on the test tiger, skill drain, uh, dimensional freezer interaction, but uh, doesn't really matter. So yeah, um, yeah, it was pretty bad because he, he thought that the morphing jar was working, but uh, yeah, he forgot the skill drain. But it doesn't really matter because uh, I don't top deck anything. And here, the, <laughs> the single flame and fire dog would have made the, the whole <laughs> the whole game because of the trap stand. But uh, yeah, wasn't really lucky this one. And then uh, yeah, going to uh, one last game, and uh, this time uh, yeah, open the Cerberus. So he has the smashing ground again. He attacks with the Christy and goes for Lacquarry, weirdly enough. Uh, so he attacks over the Pyramid Total, and uh, yeah, here yeah, I go for the Goblin Zombie because I want to get something going. So yeah, I go Trapstone Heavy Storm <laughs> because I yeah I was uh, fearing the the Book of Moon, and uh, yeah, I just uh, go for a big Synchro because uh, I'm in the Synchro Five. So I go for a Catastor set two, but yeah, the Heavy Storm. And uh, yeah, so I had the mirror force for the Catastar, which sucks. So I try to to attack over it. Yeah, the mirror force, of course. So then I go for the magical enjoyed. But this time, yeah, it top deck the smashing ground. So then the Oplomus can work again. So yeah, he stopped decking pretty good. But then I top deck Dark and Dragon, and uh, yeah, that's <laughs> that's pretty much it. It's so much easier. But then he top deck Girls, which was not expected. Uh, thankfully, I still have two dogs in the grave to kill the girls and the token. And then it updates the dimension fissure, which sucks at this point of the game. And uh, yeah, that's just game. 
So yeah, that's uh, that's all for now. Uh, and uh, yeah, I try to to grind it back down, and I mean try to grind back up, should I say? And uh, there's also a bunch of uh, interesting gameplay art from uh, from some friends. So uh, yeah, you can uh, expect this in the in the next few videos. So see you in the next one, guys. Bye bye.